Hi, Fiona. Hi. G'day. How Hi. are you? Dave, is that right? Uh, yes. G'day. How are you going? Now, how are you feeling? Um, okay. A bit nervous. A bit nervous, yeah. eh? Well, I would be too if it was me. <laughs> how old are you now? 28. 28. And you presented initially with pain in your leg? Yes. How long ago exactly did you first have any pain in your hip at all? Um, it was about 10 months ago. Mm -hmm. um, I was unable to walk mm -hmm. or lift my leg off the floor for, you know, just a, a little Did bit. Did it just suddenly come on? Um, yeah, and, as, and it just gradually got worse and worse. So for a week at a time, I would be in bed, unable to walk or move, and I would have to lift my leg up with my hands to move around. And how long did it take between that to having the scan? Um, it was about uh, five months later mm -hmm. until... I was set to do an MRI mm -hmm. and that found it. And we found that you had some funny growth growing around the socket of your hip joint. And we have had a little biopsy, drilled a hole in the bone and got some out. And it's a Ewing's sarcoma that you've got growing there. And that's a nasty primary cancer of bone. And we treat those initially with chemotherapy, which you know all about. Yes. And then unfortunately we have to move in and remove the remaining living cells by taking out the affected bone. Hello. I've got a zigzag. You've got a zigzag. Can you feel me? <laughs> Open your eyes. It's all over. Guess what? Uh, what? You got a new belly button. Uh, you got a new one. <laughs> oh no, zigzag. You've got a zigzag. A a meter of stitches. Ow. <laughs> but it's all okay. Hello, yeah. darling. <laughs> it's cold. You're cold. Oh. Wake up. It's all over. Four and a half, four and a half years of hard work is gone. All went well. It all went well. All went well. No blood transfusion. No blood transfusion. No, you didn't need any of my blood. Kept your own. <laughs> oh, done it, you love. All done. The tumour that you've got, this Ewing's sarcoma, occurs most often in adolescents and young adults. It's a little round blue cells that grow inside the bone and destroy the bone. And they have this nasty habit eventually of spreading elsewhere in the body, particularly to your lungs and to other bones. You might say, why don't you just simply go in and take it out straight away? Well, we know from large series of these particular tumours that we end up with much more live patients at the end of the thing if we give the chemotherapy first and the surgery second. Six treatments. Six. So far, yeah. And what did you think of that? <sighs> it's ugly. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Not very pleasant at all. Well, without the chemotherapy, things would be very, very bad indeed. I know. And what the chemotherapy does is it, it not only would deal with any little tiny deposits that you may have developed in your lungs that we can't see on our tests, but it's also shrunk down the main tumour and killed a lot of it. I hope, I would love that we could be certain that we killed 100% of it and the surgery we're planning for is unnecessary. But we know from experience that that's not the case. So we, you must have more than just chemotherapy to deal with this. Patricia, we're going to go for a walk Chris. today. Yeah, why not? You remember my name? I'm impressed. <laughs> all right. So how are we at standing up? Good. Yeah, we're all right. Yep. You got all your drains attached? I see already. Yeah, all done. All right. Oh, excellent. Well, see if you can use me as a support. Good girl. So Fantastic. We're, we're going to run a marathon, are we? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Missed the city to surf? Oh, no, I didn't do it this year. No, you didn't. Doing well. How are you feeling? You all right? Yep. Not the, too much oh, pain? Oh, it's the first time I've been out here. Oh, we head towards the exit, shall we? We'll get yeah, you halfway okay. there today. Yeah. So how much weight did you lose? Well, it was 81 kilos. You lost a whole person. 81 kilos. My natural. That's natural. incredible. It, I was 155 kilos. Congratulations. And... Uh, 
that was four and a half years ago. And by exercise and, and fitness? And diet, and yeah, no banding. Oh my goodness, you've yeah. been inspiration. There's a few times in that four years I could have quit. Yeah. But I never, you know. Good on you. There's no way I'm going back like that. Too much hard work. This is the MRI scan of your tumour and it's a little difficult to understand uh, but it's clearly here. Here we have the ball of the hip joint and this is the socket around it. The ball looks quite normal but all this white area in the bone, in the socket, all the way around it is the tumour. So all of this has to be removed and the ball of the hip and the socket all in one big piece. So the bit of bone that will come out could be you know, 10, 12 centimetres around to get all the tumour out. I don't realise how big it was. The area of the tumour. Well, the tumour It goes all is, the way around the socket. It goes all the way around the socket, that's right. All the way around the socket. So that explains why I couldn't walk.